All right, welcome to a mini-sode of sorts of one more round of the Rocky Series podcast. I am Ryan. So this is um, kind of a response, or not response, an update. We're going to we're gonna tie a bow on this scenario and uh, the whole uh, Stallone Zone forum. Uh, we check out our previous two discussions, or sorry, our previous two episodes where we had a emailer, a fan of our show, give their experience of the uh, of their experience I should say in the Stallone Zone forum regarding Sly and some things that happened there between some of the moderators and this individual the emailer uh, Patrick I guess it's fair to say Patrick so I obviously I'm not gonna give the last name but Patrick is a fan of our show and he did give his side of the story and we presented that side of the story to our listeners I did ask within our podcast, the two episodes we did on this, for anyone from the Stallone Zone forum, specifically Bob, if he got wind of this, to respond to what we said, or what at least what Patrick said, what we reported, I guess you could say. We did comment on the report. And of course, I think we did make it clear that we were commenting on the side of the story that we heard, and we kept it very, just like, this is what we're hearing, and this, if, if all of this being true and equal, then... That's our comments on that. So now we have the other side of the story. And I'm doing this with Katie and Kyle. You're wondering, well, Ryan White, because I, I I don't, I know Kyle in particular, he hates the drama. And so I'm going to respect that. Uh, I think Katie will be just as surprised to see this pop up in her feed. Like, what the hell, Ryan? But I, I wanted just, because I think it's all on me. At the end of the day, it's all on me. And I think I'm the one that needs to respond anyways, because I'm the one that got the response from Bob. And now we're going to reveal Bob's name, if anyone hasn't figured it out yet, because Bob gave me permission to do so. And I'm happy to do so. Uh, one of the criticisms that Bob had for me was, why didn't you defend me or meet me halfway? Quoting over the top, why didn't you meet me halfway? And he did understand the part of the reason why is I didn't want to say the reason why Bob, and he hates that, he hates that <laughs> nickname, by the way. So I'm sorry for that, but we'll get to your real name in just a second here. The reason why I kept it anonymous was, you know, out of respect. And I didn't want to be, because this individual has a job within the sly world and I didn't want to he understood that so I couldn't really say much about defending him or even meeting him halfway or understanding his position so the the uh, the request was for somebody from that group to respond to our episodes and they did I will say this there's listeners on this show it's great there's listeners on this show and here we go the clues are coming out there's listeners on my show who listen to his podcast the Rocky Files you now as we know it's Mike Kunda and Mike Kunda is Bob there you go he apparently got lots of messages, which is great. The good news is, is that means I have a few listeners and the, these listeners listen to all the Rocky shows, which is fantastic. I suspected as much. And I will give uh, Mike, I was about to say Bob, <laughs> so he used to say, I will give Mike full like kudos, kunda kudos that uh, he has support and that he has his personal fans of him that when I presented, you know, our email from our listener and presented our dialogue regarding all that that they went to him right away i know they weren't trying to get me in trouble so if anyone was trying to get me in trouble uh spoiler alert nobody's in trouble i hate to break it to you maybe they were just saying hey mike here's a heads up or maybe they were trying to get me you know mike mad at me or something that's fine or maybe they were truly saying hey you might want to respond because they're giving that invitation i don't know because these people didn't reach out to me that they're going to reach out to mike we're going to get into this. So Mike did respond. And I admit, when I got this uh, on my Instagram, he sent me uh, voicemails. And some voicemails came pouring in. I'm like, oh boy, Mike's yelling at me. I was a little afraid. I thought, okay, I'm in trouble. Oh boy. Because, you know, Mike's got that, uh, what do you call that, Italian, you know. you know. And I've seen Mike get angry. And so I know he can get angry. And he's passionate. That's probably a better word. He's very passionate. Rightfully so. And we're going to get into that. So we, we had a good back and forth. Now... Mike gave me permission to use any of the voicemails, voice messages that he gave me for the show. And I, unfortunately, I don't, I, like Instagram's on my phone. It's not on my computer, so I can't, I can't record it. You know, so I'm going to play a couple of them on, from my phone to the mic. So hopefully it sounds okay. But I'm not going to go through a lot of them. It, it's, it's irrelevant. We just talk back and forth. And, but I want to say first, and I said this to Mike, of course. I said, thank you so much for responding. First and foremost, thank you for responding. And when he explained his position... It's completely understandable. So I'll start with my position first in that I'm in the military. Okay. So I'm in the Navy and I am not allowed. I'm not allowed to criticize the Navy. I'm not allowed to criticize the Canadian government. 
I'm actually just not allowed to. I can't even voice publicly my opinions on our prime our prime minister or the military's operations. Now, we can do it over coffee or something privately at a Tim Hortons or something, but ultimately I can't go online and start criticizing or saying this is what they should be doing. Like at least publicly, at least like with you really just it, it gets very muddy very quickly. You know, your bosses will pull you and say, what are you You're stirring the water, you're stirring the pot. So I'm employed, I'm a government employee. Not that you keep your mouth shut, you know, you vote. You can still vote for political parties, you know, make your voice heard through the democratic process. But at the end of the day, I'm a government employee, I'm neutral. No matter who my leader is, I do the duty, I do my job, keep your mouth shut. Okay, so that's why I couldn't really talk about Mike because that's his job. At the end of the day, his career is rocky. He is a, you know, and I say this, I hate the term impersonator, but he's a rocky um, spirit carrier. You know, he carries the the, the embodiment of the, of the rocky character on the tours in Philadelphia. And like, I mean, at the end of the day, who, who's going to do it better? Not me. You know, I I still get lost in the movies. I, you know, I'm still learning. I, I learn things. I'll tell Mike something I learned. He's like, dude, I knew that 20 years ago. So, or 30 or whatever, you know. So he's the consummate, like, he knows everything there is to know about the films okay so that's number one so number one it's his job okay that's his job that's his bread and butter and he that's his career and so if you imagine if if he was just like critical of rocky or sly in general that's his that's his market it'd be odd it'd be like you being a coca-cola representative and you're just critical of the drink oh it's too flat it's not you know too expensive or you know well, it's your job to sell it. He's got a product to sell. His product is Rocky. And, of course, his fandom of Sly. That's his product. People who are Rocky fans will obviously want to get a tour with a guy who likes Rocky. <laughs> All right? It makes sense. Okay. You don't want a disgruntled Rocky fan giving you a tour. Oh, this stupid place over here. Yeah, this is where they filmed that stupid movie Rocky Five Or whatever. You know, you want to... Yeah, you get the point. Okay. The number two... This is key. This is the difference between me and Mike. And I said this on my podcast. And I made it clear in my podcast... But now we can say clearly who this is. Mike is a friend of Sly. Ryan, me, I am not. So again, I'm not employed by the Rocky franchise. I don't have an income from the Rocky franchise. And Sylvester Stallone, I, maybe I shouldn't even call him Sly. You know, he's not my friend. Sylvester Stallone, Mr. Stallone, he's not my friend. I'm not his friend. We don't know each other at all. I've talked to people that are his friends. So I've talked to his friends, i.e. Mike, i.e. other people. I don't want to bring in other names, but... I've talked to them. I've interviewed them. I've gotten stories from them. I've even had a couple of questions given to Sly from those individuals that he's answered on their behalf or on my behalf from them. That's the closest I've ever gotten to talking to Sly. We have no relationship. At the end of the day, I'm just a fan with a mic. That's it. I just like the Rocky films, love the Rocky films, love the Rambo films, and I'm a Sly film or Sly actor fan. Right, so I get to be critical on my show. I I get to be critical because I'm not going to get canceled by Sly. I'm not going to get canceled by MGM. So if I crap on Creed, MGM won't cancel me. If I crap on a Sly film, Sly won't cancel me. You know what I mean? We have nothing. I have nothing to lose or, or gain. Of course, people who listen to my show know that when I criticize a Sly film or, or product or something, you know, whatever it is, uh, we you know, it's not just a I'm not silly about it to the sense of like, I'm just going to, I'm going to insult it. No, it's never like insulting, but we're critical. We offer our opinions as to why we like something and why we don't. So we're critical. We can be a little bit hypercritical at times. And again, it's a show. So if we make a joke about this or that, yes, we're, we're entertaining our listeners or have a little fun, poking fun at a multimillionaire. It's punching up at the very least I'm punching up. Right. So I totally understand Mike's position on the Stallone's own forum where he's like, Hey, sorry, Sly's my friend. And he gave me more background on what happened. So Sly was in this forum. And Sly took time out of his day to answer questions for people in the forum. And there was people in the forum that were being, they were being jerks apparently. They were legit. Like it was beyond just like sharing information about Creed or asking questions. And Sly took time to answer questions, which is pretty legit. Like think of any film star from Tom Hanks to Brad Pitt to whoever, right? Whatever star, female, male, it doesn't matter. Taking time talking to the fans and some like, Hard, it's, almost a, it's almost kind of a hard to find form. It's not that easy to get into. And Sly, to his credit, took time to talk to the fans, you know, free of charge. And uh, the fans took advantage of that. You know, again, as Mike said, you know, the fans took advantage of it. And the fact they were not very nice. And 
and uh, he Mike brought up a good point. Like, imagine if there was a Reddit site or a channel dedicated to me, Ryan, and all they did was harp on me. It, you know, it would start to sting after a while. And why would you want to go visit that? Why would you want to voluntarily go into that arena just to get crapped on by the people you thought you're entertaining? So, of course, even on my channel, like if people, and I've actually got emails. I told this to Mike that when we were reviewing Creed one and two, you know, I was harsh on the films, and I got. Not hate mail, but I got criticisms from listeners. And it does sting because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to entertain people. But people were mad at me for my opinions. Okay. Sly left the Stallone zone. I, I don't know if he's back or not. Maybe someone could tell me because I thought it looked like he might have responded recently to something. But anyways, so Sly left because he's like, I don't need this garbage. And why would you? Why would anyone want to be a part of a group where you're giving, like as a celebrity, let's be honest, you're giving answers to questions. And then you left. And of course, then Mike and some of the administrators like, you guys are idiots. This is my friend, number one. And number two, you guys had Stallone in the zone, and now he's gone. Okay, so now that I understand that more, I did criticize Sly being bent out of shape, but now I get more of it. I understand more now what happened, that Sly was very given of his time, and then people were kind of crapping on him a little bit, and like, I get it. Well, why would you want to stick around? So that kind of sucks. If that truly, 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 truly is what happened, that sucks for everybody. Because then there's people like Mike and other fans like me, who are just fans, who are like, hey, we had Sly here answering questions, and now that's gone, right? That's a, that's a missed opportunity. Okay. He did say that I could play the last part of the message regarding all this, and then we'll put a bow on this, okay? So, for anyone that thought there'd be a big fight between me and Mike, I was a little bit scared, because his first message was like, Hey, Ryan, it's Bob. I'm like, oh boy. But, <laughs> but anyways, so... He was totally cool, and I really appreciate it, and I appreciate what he, uh, his crit not crit oh, yeah, his criticism or what made him angry about things I said, and we went back and forth, and it was really good. It was cathartic, and uh, we both expressed that his show, The Rocky Files, is a completely different beast than my show, which we need. We don't want two of my shows or two of his shows, right? We are totally two different shows with two different formats and two different messages. Like, I, our show is critical or has a critical eye of the Stallone franchises, Rambo and Rocky. Whereas his show is about fans, for fans, by the fans, right? So it's it's just about the fandom and, uh, and, and the, how the Rocky spirit inspires people. And that's great. You need to have that voice, okay? So here we go. Here is what Mike had to say at the final part of all this. And he said that I, he said I could play anything from the messages he sent. Like, we both send a lot, but this is, we'll play these ones. He had been answering all of the fans' questions every week. Asked Sly a question, he'd answer it in detail, mind you. And now these idiots want to go around and kick him, kick him in the teeth and post all this stuff. It's the Stallone zone. It's not the Michael Jordan zone. Go start your own thing. Go start your own podcast. Go start your own Reddit page. Don't take over. See, that this is what aggravates me. Now... I'll leave it in your capable hands, Ryan, of explaining to your listeners. I wrote a book. There's a documentary about my life, which Sly asked to be a part of in a very kind, gentle manner. It's a great story. When I asked him why, he goes, he just wanted to help me on my journey. One of the kindest things in the world. Stallone endorsed my tours. He endorsed The Pretender, the documentary about my life. So there is a legitimate friendship there. But I will leave that up to you to talk to your listeners about. You can play any parts of the things, the 27 messages we've sent each other. You can play anything you want. I don't have any problem with that. I will not hide behind an anonymity. That was the word you were looking for, anonymity. <laughs> I could have pronounced uh, the word earlier. I hate the name Bob. Sorry. And, uh... <laughs> uh, Mike's a better name. Everybody likes the name Mike. The best to your co-host. Uh, hope you guys keep doing a good job. And um, yeah, F Creed. Okay, <laughs> so there you go. Okay, so that gives you. Uh, uh, there's the closure, folks. So um, yeah, like the end of the day, I told Mike I totally respect that he came back. I asked for the invitation for the response. That's his side of the story. Now, I'm going to read emails from either from Patrick or from other people from the Stallone Zone. I'll, I'll read them, but that will be it for on air. So this is going to tie the bow for on air. There will be no more Stallone's discussion on air. Because our next Rocky episode, we'll just go right into our normal fan email from the show. The hundreds and hundreds of emails we get. 
for our show. We'll just read those, of course, regarding the show. But we, but let's give our uh, tip our hat, tip our Rocky fedora to to Mike uh, for for being patient on his end, and he has a lot more involved, a lot more at stake. And of course, he, he admitted himself that he's very passionate. His passion is very different than the average fan. He recognizes that, and he recognizes that even us as podcasters or criti- critics of the, uh, of of stuff, we don't have that same passion. He recognizes that his passion is on a different level, and he's been told by family and friends like, dude. You know, people aren't going to be at your level. So he should embrace that. That's my message to Mike. Embrace your passion because it got you a friendship with Sly. And it got you your job and your gig that you love. So that's that's why you are who you are as Mike Kunda because that's your passion. And my passion is just I'm a fan of the shows. I'm a fan of Sly films. I have been my whole life. I'm not an expert. Heaven forbid I'm not an expert. I'm just a fan with a mic. I have a very small audience. And uh, I do appreciate uh, Mike coming back and talking to me about it yeah i was ready for the worst you know but he was very kind mike kinda he was very good very patient and we and we were able to talk it out and uh, he gave me full permission to say everything so um again check out the rocky files podcast uh every time i always say on my show if we're a better podcast we would know what we're talking about i'm always referring to the rocky files you know they're a better podcast but uh there's room for a lot of us out there and uh, everyone else be kind at the end of the day just be kind if I post Creed 3 stuff on my page or I'll talk about it on my channel, it sucks that Sly's not in it. Uh, I just post it so people can discuss their frustration and their fandom. You know, we just can, we allow both discussions to happen. That's all it is. And the Rocky Files or Mike himself, they've made their stance and that's that's their right as well. But or the Sloan's own form. They, but even they would just say, just be kind. You know, if you want to watch Creed 3, you watch Creed 3. But I get it. It's a Stallone form. You want to have a Michael B form, go build it. Okay, we get the point. Okay. So again, thank you everyone who has watched this sort of mini soda per normal. I talk too much. Okay, thank you. Keep punching. Go on the tour if you're in Philly, the uh, Yo Rocky Film Tour. Check out the Rocky Files podcast. People, you can now message Mike that I've responded. And uh, 